Today, we're diving into the twisted tale of Todd Kohlhepp, a man who led a double life as a successful real estate agent by day and a brutal serial killer by night. Born on March 7, 1971 in Florida, Todd had a troubled childhood. His parents divorced when he was just two, and he grew up with a stepfather he didn't get along with. As a kid, Todd was known for his aggressive behavior and cruelty to animals. Red flags were waving all over the place, but unfortunately, no one seemed to take notice. Fast forward to November 25th, 1986, when 15-year-old Todd committed his first known crime. He kidnapped a 14-year-old girl at gunpoint, brought her back to his home, and sexually assaulted her. Todd was caught, pleaded guilty, and spent 15 years behind bars. But even with a conviction under his belt, Todd managed to keep his nose clean in prison and was released in 2001. Now, you might think that after serving time, Todd would have turned over a new leaf. But oh no, this story is just getting started. Todd moved to South Carolina and believe it or not, got himself a real estate license by lying about his felony conviction. He built a successful firm and was even recognized as a top-selling agent. Talk about a wolf in sheep's clothing. But underneath that charming exterior, Todd was hiding some seriously dark secrets. On November 6, 2003, four people were found shot dead inside Superbike Motorsports, a motorcycle shop in Chesney. The victims were the owner, Scott Ponder, his mother Beverly Guy, and two employees, Brian Lucas and Chris Sherbert. The case went unsolved for years, but little did anyone know the killer was right under their noses. Fast forward to August 31st, 2016, when Kayla Brown and her boyfriend, Charles David Carver, went missing after going to Todd's property to do some work. Investigators tracked their cell phone signals and made a shocking discovery. Kayla was found chained up inside a metal storage container on Todd's land. And tragically, Charles's body was found nearby, shot to death. But the horror didn't stop there. As police searched Todd's property, they uncovered the remains of another couple, Johnny Joe Coxey and Megan Lee McCraw Coxey, who had been missing since December 2015. Todd had hired them to work on his land, but instead of paying them, he murdered them in cold blood. With the evidence piling up, Todd confessed to the Superbike Motorsports shootings and the murders of the Coxies, all to get a chance to talk to his mother and transfer some money. During the investigation, a number of weapons and ammunition were found on his property and some disturbing Amazon reviews written by Todd came to light, including one about padlocks on a shipping container and another about hiding bodies with a fold-up shovel. Yikes. And if you thought that was the end of Todd's brutal crimes, think again. He claimed that there were other victims hinting to his mother that there were more than she could count on her fingers. Police in Tempe, Arizona, even started looking into unsolved homicides from the 80s when Todd lived there with his pops. And in December 2017, Todd wrote to a newspaper claiming he had more undiscovered victims. In a shocking turn of events, Todd managed to avoid the death penalty by pleading guilty to seven counts of murder, two counts of kidnapping, and one count of criminal sexual assault. He's now serving seven consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. And while his defense claims there are no more victims to be found, Todd has admitted to at least two more murders, though he hasn't given any details. What kind of twisted individual nonchalantly orders a hit on innocent people he felt had inconvenienced him? Can you believe that this guy built a real estate firm and no one knew he had bodies buried on his property? It's chilling to think about how many other victims might be out there, and we can only hope that one day Todd will reveal the truth and bring some closure to the families of his victims. Well, that's it for today's episode of True Crime Legacy. It's hard to wrap your head around the evil that some people are capable of, 
but it's important that we share these stories to honor the victims and to remind ourselves to always be vigilant. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next time. Here is the, the full interrogation of Todd Kohep. I had a real close cousin. And in the beginning of the year, um, someone gave her some drugs mm -hmm. that they shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. And she had a heart, a heart condition. And she went to sleep. And they were <clears throat> low financial means. Mm -hmm. And she went to sleep with her daughter, the bed, and passed in her sleep. Then her daughter woke up mm -hmm. and found her. And that's something her daughter's going to live with, with for the rest, rest of her life. And, you know, so, I mean, I the drug dealer, the drug thing, it just, you know. It, it digs in me all out. Yeah. I've seen too many people go down that path. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't like the junkies, but I can understand the junkies. Mm -hmm. The dealer, the dealer's only there for one thing. Mm -hmm. the, that, that's the problem that, that I have. Um, I would have been okay if you guys would just, like, I would never have pulled a, a weapon on you guys. Um, and to force you guys to shoot me isn't cool either, because you got to live with that. Mm -hmm. um, I have a good friend who works here that still lives with that today. You will second guess yourself constantly. <clears throat> well, he, he did because he found out the gun wasn't loaded, but he had no way of knowing. And for me to take myself, it's not hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, you slam your throat on a on a desk somewhere and crush the you don't die of shitty death. Yeah. But you can do it. But you can hurt the people. If I did any of that, and I won't, mm -hmm. it would probably cause my mother to have a heart attack and die. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's not do that. Let me go back to what you said, though. What do you want? You you said you said you, you go ahead go ahead. Said five and a half, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the absurdity of that is that even if you did, but you can't. But if you did, where am I going? <laughs> right now, around here, you're probably the most recognizable person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think some people even put my face on some billboards. Were like, hey, no <laughs> mistake, <laughs> higher up. <laughs> <laughs> and more business from inside. <laughs> Why haven't people asked me about, can you hook me up with Rosie? I'll show you how to turn, we turn that bottom bed into a top bed real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, we move you right on up. Which pod do you want to be in, sir? You want a three bed or a two? <laughs> They're just looking, oh, oh the, the guards, I'm going to talk to the guards and, and one inmate who just was like, I, I heard about you. I'm like, okay, I'm like, you're the real estate guy. Uh, was until about you know, 20 minutes ago, I went to my license away. But, um, real nice guy. But the, uh, I've just been out. Just. I want to let them know what the hell they feed them boys with it, with saw. Mm -hmm. Are they putting like, horse, they putting, like uh, steroids in their, in their. No, no, no. They're the biggest corn fed damn people. And as a matter of fact, there was a, you, you seen it, you mentioned Russell Lynch's website earlier, you saw on Facebook, we had an officer get in trouble for that a year or so ago, and he was let go. Okay, I wouldn't want to be in serious, but. Yeah, we did, so they test them for that. They, they work out, they have to work, I mean, they go through PT like our SWAT guys. Yeah. They go through PT like crazy, and they lift weights, and they have to go through PT like crazy. Oh, I'm, I'm impressed, I'm not, yeah. I was like, they're all. Tall as hell. Oh, I know. I'm like, that's the one thing I wish I had was like, like my my 15 year old, he's already taller than me. I'm five nine and a half. He's five eleven. I'm like, really, dude? He he looked at me. I'm like, listen here, little man. Really? Still my house. He goes, he goes, he call me. He goes, hey, boo boo. I said, listen here. He goes, boo boo. And it's funny though, because he knows his two kids. He's got an old soul. But he knows the difference between um, joking around bad, mm -hmm. and even if I use that, uh, just that change in the tone, to serious dad. Mm -hmm. You know? 
And once that tone changes, you know, he knows, you know, um, time stop. Yeah. And he knows that, you know, um, that dad will straighten him out, but dad will also fight the biggest dragon. See, my dad never would do that. Really? My dad was the dragon. Really? My dad took me to office parks while he would steal half the shit he gets hands on <clears throat> and then want me to help him load truck and deal with his nonsense and then would tell me that if I got into a fight, if I didn't win, you're not my son, don't come home. But then if I get into a fight, I whoop the kid's ass, I went too far, I'm getting my ass whooped because I went too far. Yeah, but I don't win. My son got in trouble a while back for helping defend a kid on the bus one time. A little bitty guy. They're the same age as this guy. Like I said, my son's real tall. And it's kind of cute. The, um, they have, for some reason, I don't know why they do it, they have the they have the 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth graders from different schools all riding on the same bus. Mm -hmm. And he's back there and he's got his headphones on and some of the older kids are messing with him. And the other little guy, and like I said, he's He's short. He's a little guy. Looked like he belonged in like the fifth grade or something. He's so little. And these older kids are picking on him, bullying him. And my son's sitting there and he looks over and he says, Man, just leave him alone. Just just leave him alone, dude. And my son got into got attacked by our family dog. Mm -hmm. It was a a, pit, a bulldog pit, a bull mastiff mix. And it was an accident. He, it did, my wife would give him Zerberts, a little pop on the cheek, mm -hmm. and he didn't like it. And he would go like this and snap. And he, my son was home sick one day, and he thought he was going to do it. So he jumps up on the bed. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, the dog thought he was going to do it. The dog turned like that, and when he did, he caught him right here with a fang yeah. and ripped his whole lip off. Oh, jeez. So he had it stitched on. So my son's claim to fame is, if I can take on a pit bull and win, what do you think I'm going to do to you? So, the guy, the kid, he said, just, just leave me alone, man. Just leave me alone. The kid goes, leans up across there and he goes, how about I make you my... And he goes, everybody goes, you better leave him alone. His dad's a cop. And go, the guy goes, I don't care if his dad's a cop. And he leans across there and goes, how about I just make you my little bitch? And my <laughs> son leaned up to him and he says, how about you sit back down before you get your ass kicked in front of everybody here? <laughs> and, he was, and he just looked at him like that. He's like, and I taught my son, at that point in a situation, mm -hmm. don't say anything else. Because mm -hmm. the next person that speaks loses. You lose all credibility. Mm -hmm. If you talk, they teach you that in sales. You're at that closing point. Don't talk. That's action time. You know? At that point, if that kid makes a move, you're in fear for your safety. You have the right to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. And he ended up getting put off the bus. So I go down to the school. We had a word of prayer with the principal. And he was back on the bus. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, <clears throat> he's, he's defending, you know, a smaller kid that's being bullied. He doesn't, you know, that's what he's supposed to do. You know? You, you protect the weak. You know. The problem that I see to answer your question, it's going to be the mom. The mom. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, what do you mean? The bike shop because the mom. Well, again, what do you want to have to happen? I don't know. Honestly, because you made this comment to me, sorry to interrupt, but you made this comment to me, and I believe you. Mm -hmm. You didn't do right. No, sir. And, and I believe you. And I talked to the solicitor about that, mm -hmm. and and I told him what you told me. Mm -hmm. He said, I, I said he's he's made the comment to me, solicitor. He'll plead to everything, mm -hmm. but he's not pleading right no, because he didn't do right. I said he told me that he's admitted to everything he's done. He's willing to take the responsibility for it. Mm -hmm. But he will not take responsibility for the kidnapping. I said, but he will not take responsibility for the rape because he did not rape her. Mm -hmm. The time they had sex, it was consensual. Mm -hmm. She had the choice, and she actually initiated it at times. Mm 
Mm-hmm. And he said, okay. And I said, so we're going to need to re-interview her. <clears throat> and we're setting that up. We did. We're going to do that this week. Um, and I told him, I said, I, I gave him my word that we would re-interview him and I want to, or we want to re-interview her. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because I, I think it needs to be done. And so um, I can't guarantee where that's going to go, but I don't see it, you know. But let's, let's ask you this. Um, I got one, one thing I do that I'd ask you before I go further. The FBI has requested to talk to you. I don't know if it's about the guns. It's, uh, it's, got, it's got to be about the guns because that's the only issue they would have. If at some point they want to come talk to you, would you mind talking to them? I don't mind. Okay. I'll let them know. Um, the other thing is, um, so you run the cop car and put the lights on? Probably. Uh, I can arrange it. <laughs> <laughs> I can, uh, I can arrange a sheriff to pick up your mom and bring her over here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he, and he, he, he's, FBI, he he's just, go ahead. If it's FBI, the only thing they're, they're going to be interested in is the guns. They're not going to like the answer they get. It's not going to be that. I was expecting ATF. Mm-hmm. I'm expecting Homeland Security. They were out there. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Didn't know that. Yeah, they were out there. Not today. They were out there uh, the first day. Because they am. When they found all that, they yeah. Um, not terrorist. I would never do anything against the interests of the United States. Mm-hmm. I love my country. Mm-hmm. I don't like what we do a lot of times. Right. I love my country. Uh, they can ask all they want. Mm-hmm. You will not find racial material on my stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I refer to with my friend call him my Aryan. He's a black guy. Mm-hmm. I don't do the white pride right. power right. crap. Um, no. Uh, they're not asked about the weapons because they're so extreme. Okay. Uh, I just have expensive taste and I like <clears throat> quality and I actually know how to operate every single one of them. But uh, they're not going to get the spectacular stories they want. With that being said, there apparently I did not know this. Um, I knew that the guy had came and revoked your mm-hmm. broker's license. Apparently, an attorney came to see you. Mm-hmm. Who who is he? I got his card. He basically with the intern part. Well, which let me, let me back up. There's the there's two two attorneys came to see you. There was the attorney who actually showed up to give me my letter telling me you're no longer a realtor, peace out. Then there was an attorney that showed up from the Columbia for... Shane something? Yes. Okay. Columbia for what? He, they, well, first they tried to give me a public defender, but <clears throat> I make too much money. Okay. Even though almost everything I've got is not liquid. Right. And... I you actually own property in Sparmer uh, County, so you don't right. qualify. Yeah. Uh, Thing is, except for a couple of things, I don't see a need to buy an attorney. Dude, I just gave you seven, well, eight, seven bodies. Well, see, that's the thing I'm getting at. He's shown up back at the jail again today, okay. wanting to, while we've been here, okay. wanting to talk to you. Okay. And but he talked to my lieutenant. Okay. And I didn't know if you wanted to talk to him. Sure. But um, he, can, he can wait. Um, do you want to talk to him? After we do this, or after you, after, I mean, I'm not sorry, after you come see me tomorrow, or do you want to talk to him beforehand? It's up to you. I mean, it's whichever you want to do. I don't care. I mean, Are you I'm, wanting, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use them to where they do the preliminary stuff. Mm-hmm. The, only, the only problem I have with any of this mm-hmm. is I'm not going to set a Kayla, Kayla's <clears throat> break. That's not going to happen. That's, <clears throat> I'll fight all the way. We'll, we'll go to jury. <laughs> I won't win. Mm-hmm. But I'm called make it extremely, extremely costly. Mm-hmm. Um, why? Um, I think once you re interview her, I think you uh you now that you've got her own letters and all that, mm-hmm. I think you'll be Okay. Go through the go through the bag, go through the stuff that was in go through the stuff that was in the connex mm-hmm. in her area mm-hmm. and upstairs There's a dresser drawer. Is there not one of the, somebody said they found some stuff in a dresser drawer? Yes, sir. There, well, there's multiples. There is, 
I did her laundry now, so I didn't do anything for her. I did for me. Um, where? <laughs> um, the two bottom drawers. Mm -hmm. The two bottom drawers of the white thing that has the mirror on top. Both of those are her drawers. Okay. Uh, both drawers underneath the TV mm -hmm. are both of her drawers. I'm going to write this down because I'll forget it. <laughs> both bottom drawers of the white um, chest, where the thing's called dresser, both of those are hers. With the mirror? With the mirror. <clears throat> okay. And both of those that are underneath the TV, just one side by side, mm -hmm. both of those have her stuff in it. Okay. Um, she had me get her vibrator, the TV, the, the DVD player, the MP3 player, the coloring books. I said, coloring books? Adult coloring books. Okay. Dude, I didn't question. I just. It got her to shut up and got her to roll over. <laughs> uh, oh, that led me to something else. I want to say. You said the satanic book? Yeah, what the hell, man? I never. Let me ask you this the mattress is up against the wall. And we did that, looking to see if there were any weapons in there. It was bad. Yeah, did you ever spend the night there with her in the bed? Like, stay the night, you and her in the bed? Overnight? Never stayed the night. Okay. Um, we spent a lot of time on the bed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, she wanted the, 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 the comfort thing that was on the floor. Mm -hmm. That was her idea. That was her submissive kitty bed, her kitten bed. Man, it's her All of a sudden, she, I, I put the collar thing on her. And yeah, they found me. Uh, they were like, what? They thought it was for a dog, you know. Well, now the cage that was up there that's in pieces, mm -hmm. that I built. And it was originally meant for my dogs. Yeah, no, I'm talking about the, the collar, the, the metal collar thing you told me about. That I ordered off mm -hmm. of one of the websites delivered, and I got it because she, she requested that as opposed to me putting the chain around. Mm -hmm. And I got that and went, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That would have fucked me up, man. Yeah. Um, I, I went, that ain't going on, no way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so it's never been used. Okay. Uh, but she wanted that and then the, the, the kitty bed, and she went this whole thing of explaining to me that I had to give her permission to speak to me, mm -hmm. give her permission to look at me. Mm -hmm. Dude, I don't do all that control shit. Uh, you know, I'm like, Yeah, yeah. Let's get yeah. Thing on. Yeah. Uh, I don't need all that. Ask Ashley. Ashley's never had to deal with any of that crap. Um, well, no, Ashley's just nasty. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but you get the point. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I was embarrassed because she actually keeps bringing bring her. She she keeps <laughs> she buys all those damn vibrators, and then she starts putting them on my, on my side of the damn bed. I was like, you know, I don't want anything on my side of the bed. <laughs> She's like, why? Because if I ever get in trouble. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that shit for me. Well, we did open the drawers and we were opening the drawers and we were like, oh shit. <laughs> you know, I was like, okay. <laughs> In the house and we're at the house. I ain't ever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we had all that. Uh, and then, um, yeah, it was just, I don't know. She, 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 she had all this stuff. She kept asking for this kind of stuff. I got it. And she wanted it's a big black book about that deep, mm -hmm. like twenty three dollars that damn book, mm -hmm. and it's the um, enchanted sorcerer sorcery some of the shit. Mm -hmm. It's the how to guide to be a witch, dude. I just figured she'd read the damn book and shut the fuck up for a while. <clears throat> um, I don't understand that. I mean, tell me about basically how she wanted to go off Dustin, because she, she thinks Dustin was involved in it. Dustin wasn't involved in it. The only Dustin's part of, of anything was that he was a dumb kid that I paid cash when he was broke mm -hmm. to go to the store and get... When you say dumb, you think he had a mental issue, or just he was just didn't... I mean, he's just an idiot young kid. He's an idiot young kid. Okay. He's not retarded. He's, he's smart. Mm -hmm. He's just lazy. Okay. I tried to get him jobs for years. I tried to get him in real estate. He wouldn't even read the damn book. Uh, real estate ain't hard. You don't want to shit in class. You want to on the street. Right. But you got to do the class first. Mm -hmm. Which falls into our early conversation. Right. But he's just a dumb kid who basically 
he, he doesn't even know who his daddy is. His mom doesn't even know who his daddy is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was a little wild when she was young. Okay. Um, <clears throat> he, he basically, I met him one night at Barnes Noble 15 years ago mm-hmm. in line and told him about how he wanted to be swapped. He wanted to push for his other friends to do I don't know disrespect, but she didn't have a chance in hell. Mm-hmm. I, I can look in your eyes and tell you, you got none of that in you. Mm-hmm. Uh, accept it, find a good career, and go, go live your life. And you, there's people who need to be that way and people who don't need to be that way. Right. The world's big. You need both. Mm-hmm. Um, got to talk to him. I got him out of a lot of trouble because he just, he never had any, uh, there was me and another guy who died. Mm-hmm. He uh, actually had a, um, you may have known him, Cody. He used to work with the manager of, at Wild Wings. He had diabetes. We didn't know he was just back or like that. And he mashed his foot down and he drove his car on 290 into a telephone pole. And he died. I I heard about this. I did hear about this. Yeah. Real sca- real little tiny guy. I, I heard about I heard about the wreck. I heard about them and the wreck. He I didn't know anything about him, but I heard about the he wreck. He had a telephone pole. He had he had a, a diabetic, whatever it was, insulin, whatever, when the shock. Uh-huh. Did that? Mashed the gas to the floorboard. He uh, he only drove 55. Or diabetic oh. seizure. I'm sorry. He only drove 55 on 85. Go anywhere with him used to drive me batshit. <laughs> I'm like, come on, for the love of God, find the <laughs> I would pull him aside the road wait. Right. He'd drive, he, he would drive me batshit. Because, um, I mean, I'm 85 miles an hour in, in school zone. Yeah. And he hit. He, he went to shock, mashed to the floor, hit a telephone pole, went through the windshield, and hit a car. I mean, hit, hit a house. Mm. To this day, I don't know what house. I never asked Dustin which one it was. But oh, me and Cody were the only two that kind of got him out of his early funk. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he didn't know that was illegal and that at first, and then I paid him, and then after I paid him, he, I kept his car working. Uh, he needed the money. So and Cody had no idea that buying you the guns was illegal. Cody wasn't even alive without him. Cody was I'm not Cody, Dustin. Dustin had no idea buying you the guns was illegal. At first. Okay. He did later, but by the time he realized it, he'd already done enough times uh-huh. that... It didn't matter. I was like, fuck. I, I mean, dude, there's like 10 or 12 suppressors in there, and I don't know how many... 40 guns? Mm-hmm. 50 guns? Um, I mean, it's kind of like Pokemon. Got to have them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I would take them, and I would tweak them. Mm-hmm. Uh, the SIG MPX became an SBR. The PTR became an SBR. Mm-hmm. The 516 became an SBR. Mm-hmm. Um, anything that was rifle-wise, it got refined and polished and upgraded to for distance. Mm-hmm. And everything short got upgraded for dependability and fire control. Well, let me ask you this real quick. Um, so we're going to have to head back over. This attorney contacted my lieutenant. Okay. Um, and my lieutenant told me to let you know, because we promised this attorney mm-hmm. that we would let you know. Mm-hmm. Do you want this attorney to contact you? Do you want to contact this attorney? He can contact me. He can contact you, come to the jail and see you. Mm-hmm. Do you want to come back and see me tomorrow first? Or do you want to talk to him? Or do you want us to give him a time to come see you? Whatever is whatever you want to do. Whatever is convenient. Uh, I, yeah, I wouldn't mind talking to him. Okay. <clears throat> um, it's whatever your schedules are. I, I mean, I need to talk to me tomorrow. So, I mean. It, well, it, 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 I mean, it, the ball's in your court because you're the one. If you want me to talk to him first, make it easy, and then come see me. It's, no, I mean, it, it, it's it's whatever you want. Okay. Um, if you want to talk to me first tomorrow, that's your choice. If you want to talk to him first tomorrow, that's your choice. Let me talk to him first. I already know what he's going to say, but I'll talk to him first anyhow. Okay. Um, it's not going to make any difference. Okay. To answer your question earlier, I don't know what I want. Okay. The fact is, it'd be nice to just be over with, mm-hmm. but I don't want to spend my life in a box, but I don't have a choice. Um, but if I go to death row, it's going to, absolutely, it's going to, it's going to kill some people. It, it's absolutely going to crush them. Um, if I gotta just bite the bullet and ride it out, I'll ride it out. What else do you do? 
Now you said you have this attorney's card, right? I do, but I'm not allowed to make any phone calls. Okay. So, okay, we were planning on coming and getting you tomorrow mid morning. Okay. But and doing getting all this squared away tomorrow mid morning afternoon or sometime like mm -hmm. that. So it's your choice. Do you want to talk to him before we do before I come and get you to talk to you, or how do you want to do that? If he can get up, get up here in the morning, that's fine. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> that way we got more time to deal with this and all this stuff because I got to write those checks and you got to get checked, folks. Okay. What time do you want me to tell him to come see you? Anytime in the morning work. Okay. My my schedule is is available. Okay. So so you're telling me, and I have to do this for legal reasons. I know. So you're telling me, after you talk to him, you want me to come get you so you can come back over here. Yes, sir. And talk to me. Yes, sir. Okay. It just gets him out of the way. He's gonna tell me the same thing he told me last time. What did he tell you? Well, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but I'm really. What? <laughs> I'm like really at this point. What the hell is the difference? Uh. He can't tell me anything. I mean, the fact is, I mean, first they tell me the, 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 the what do you call it? The, um, um, they can't give me a public defender because I, I have too much, I have too much assets. But then they tell me, but I'm on such a high priority case that all of a sudden we might be able to bypass some of this, which is legalese for, I want my name on that case somehow, somehow, because that would give me some notoriety. Um, Hell, I imagine somebody in the prison town would do it for free just to get the name on the case at this point. After today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. um, preliminary hearing, their chance their chance to stand up and me say absolutely nothing mm -hmm. and go through procedure. Dude, I wrote up I wrote out a um, confession. What mm -hmm. else, but what the fuck are you gonna get on preliminary? Right. Oh, well we'll get that charge pops out. Bro, I've got like eight nine more coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but, but I mean, in retrospect, really, the only one your your issues with is the right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Being honest here, I gave you the four. I could have shut the hell up. Yeah, yeah. It, it's and that's probably the one I'm gonna fry on. I don't want to use that damn thing. That would suck. Be like a sausage. Um, <laughs> smell my meat, bitches. <laughs> so, that's right, inhale, because not my last thing in. I'm, I'm inside of all of you. <laughs> you gotta go out with a laugh, man. You do, uh, yeah, you do. I mean, uh, you do. Uh, you gotta go out your own way. I don't know if I'm gonna do the digs out for Randy or I'm gonna do the uh, can I use a lifeline? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, at that point, I mean, the one I'm probably going to get nailed on is the bike shop. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Carver. Um, Charlie? Charlie. Charlie's not saying. Mm -hmm. They, they want to make him out to be a saint right now. Uh, they do, but yeah. they're not. Um, Kayla's dangerous. Kayla has before asked me to beat up people for her or use my resources, which she thinks my resources are go get someone killed. Really? Yeah. With people that she doesn't like. A, he have, a have you do or have you hired somebody to do it? Yes. Both? Yes. Okay. Um, I can't read my Facebook. It may be on there. Really? Yes. You know, How long ago is this? You know, I, well, I blocked her after all this shit so that it wouldn't know. Because, I mean, literally... Well, we have her Facebook page. Then you have it. Okay. Uh, it'll take you forever and a damn day to go through it. Okay. But go back to the messages. Really? Uh, in her phone messages. She supposedly had money in her car, and the guy took her money, but that's bullshit. And then she wanted me to either use my resources to either have him killed... Mm-hmm. Um, or beat up. I believe he was beat up, but she wanted me to use my resources to have him have him off or go do it. Kayla uses that thing between her legs to get dumbasses to go do stupid shit. And 
That's what I'm trying to say, that she's going to use that to get Dustin hurt. Okay. Um, what was this attorney's name? Do you remember? Let me, let me. Let me sure take my picture. No, no, I'm, I'm calling my boss. Hey, what is this attorney's name? Steve Gorsham. Okay, he says he has his business card. He has no way to contact him, though. He does want to talk to him. Um, not for anything, just to hand, help him with the preliminary stuff. Like, he goes, Okay. I got you. There's another call. Okay. Out of Greenville. explain this to him. So this guy that showed up last Friday is an indigent defense? Because he, he did mention something to me about the guy saying he wouldn't qualify for a public defender because he owned the property. Okay. Hmm. Yes. But they're not going to like what he has to say. He, they're not. I mean, he's not going to talk to them very much. told me that he still wants me to come pick him up tomorrow afternoon and come back over here and talk to me. Okay.
going to call the attorney. He's an indigent. What's the point? Well, I, and if you want me to call him back and tell him not to, I will. There's also an attorney from Greenville that left his card at the front desk of the jail okay. for you. Okay. He is, I don't know who he is, it's on a legal pad and he left his card for you at the jail. Um, but this attorney from Columbia, he is not a public defender, but he's an indigent attorney. Okay, but I he represents indigent people, and I think that's why he made that comment to you. You made a comment to me that he said you didn't qualify for a public defender, but there's a ways around that or something. There are, but here's the point. Mm -hmm. Why? I mean, I'll speak to him, but here's the thing. Todd, you ain't got to talk to nobody you don't want to. Yeah, you don't. I mean, if you want to... I mean, I don't mind talking to him, but I mean, I'm okay with talking to you guys. I, I, I mean, I... But I don't get, okay? I gave you four guys. I gave you four bodies. I gave you four. I can't remake. That's done. I understand that. It, it, you kept your promise. I kept my promise. You can't remake. It's already been done. Okay. I showed you where two other bodies are. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to mention. If I hadn't said nothing because of what's on top of them, you guys, your dogs just ain't gonna pull it. Uh, even if I didn't, I still got a kidnapping charge that ain't going nowhere. I still got a, a murderer in the back pasture that's not going anywhere. Um, and obviously he was on a half off sale. But, um, the what? Half off sale. What do you mean? Buy one foot, get one foot? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? What am I saying? Hello? Uh, again, Todd, you don't have to talk to anybody you don't want to. I don't talk to you either, but, but you know, okay. I'm not, if you want to. No, he's not sure he wants, he's not sure he wants to talk to me. He said if he's an indigent lawyer, he said there's no reason for him to talk to him. He, I mean, that's the thing. He, 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 I told him about the business card being left by the other attorney from Ringle, and he said he has no problem talking to him. And and but he said as far as this engine an attorney does, he said there is no reason for him. He said because he's not indigent. Do you, you want my lieutenant to call him back and tell him no, or do you want me to tell him you'll talk to him? Just just have him leave his card and I'll. Okay, he said he he. he this is the guy you already have his card. Okay. This is the guy that came to see you Friday. Have him just come to see me later. Just have, him come, have him come to me afterward. What day would you like him to come see you? Um, I don't care. Tomorrow, late tomorrow, Tuesday, I don't care. Is there? I'm not going anywhere. I'll do that. I'll do that. That's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. This is what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. He's going to text me the attorney's contact information so that you can call him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let the attorney know that I'm in here okay. with you. And you can tell him if you want to talk to him or when you want to talk to him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that way, you know, you're protected. Okay. You have your rights are protected. And if you want to see him after you talk to me, if you want to see him down the road, Okay. Whatever you want to do, okay. you know, because the thing about it is, like you said, there are cops in the world that are bad. There are cops in the world that are good. I should not like you. Mm -hmm. I should want to nail you to the cross, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm going there anyway. Well, 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 that's not that, but I, yeah, I get it. I, I want to do the right thing for you. I want to make sure the right thing is done for you and by you. I don't do this job just to put people in jail and do stuff like that. I do this job because that's the way I want to be. At the end of the day, like I said, they have two choices. There's two choices here. There's mm -hmm. three. I'm not going home. 
There's two choices. Okay. Now, I'm going to let him know that I'm in here okay. and that. Oh, then you can tell me when you want to see him. That whatever you want, you know. Hi, Shane. My name is Tom Clark. I'm an investigator with the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office. Yeah. Um, Lieutenant William Gary gave me your information. Yeah. What's your last name, Shane? Gorenson. G-O-R. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sitting here with Mr. Colhep. Yeah. You left your card with him? Okay, and you I, I, apparently while we were talking to him today, you came back to see him? Yes, I came by today, yeah. Okay, and you were wanting to talk to him again, correct? Yes. Okay, correct. he's going to talk to you right now um, and let you know what his decision is about whether or not he wants to talk to you or when he wants to talk to you, okay? And I'm I'm still in the room, so I just want to make sure you knew that, okay? Because we're in an interview room. All right. Okay. Speakerphone. Yes, sir. He's right here. All right. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, I understand you want to speak to me. Uh, are you the gentleman I spoke to the other day? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to come see me tomorrow or Tuesday or what? Whatever. Whatever. Right now. Yes, sir. Um, but, uh, if we need to do it another day, we can do it another day. I have the power of attorney for him, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I need that. Um, and, you know, yes, sir? I would just, I would prefer to at least get that to you tonight so you can get that done. But, yes. you know, whatever you want to do is fine. I'm just telling you, I'm here for you, I'm here to help you. And I appreciate yeah, that, sir. And I appreciate that. Um, I don't know what time it is, but how long are you going to be there? In Sparkler? Yes, sir. Hello, on your clock, buddy. I'm here for you. Uh, if, how long is this going to take? We're fixing to leave. Uh, yeah, I can see you in, 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 when, when they get me back over. That, that, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry? I just want the power of attorney for him. Now, I want to let you know this. If you sign papers with him and he becomes your attorney, okay? Okay? Okay. In any capacity, before you can talk to me again, you have to send a letter through the kiosk at the jail before you can talk to me anymore if he becomes your attorney on record for this. Okay. I'm just making you aware of that. Okay. I can't just come over and get you like we, we talked about. If he becomes your attorney, okay. he becomes your attorney on record for this situation, mm -hmm. um, then you will have to request me. Okay. Through the day of that kiosk that you need, you have they to. Have, they have me anywhere near. Well, you that you tell them. You can tell them. Mm -hmm. I want to request to talk to Detective Clark mm -hmm. through the kiosk. Okay. And they will let you do that if you hire him. As or if you, I wasn't planning on hiring him. I thought I'm taking my taking my piece of paper. Okay. Um, and you can explain that to him. That's your right. You you know, and that's why you know you know we're recorded here, and you know all that. I don't even have the notoriety for them. This is not for me. What? Why do I? Why is everybody suddenly from first year? The lady came down at the at the home cell and then informed me that. You got a property, you can't have anything. Well, then why are you even here? Well, when she's a public defender, and they do that for for um, general sessions charges most times, a lot of times, okay. in, in, in court. Okay. Um, and it may have just been because they found out what the charges were. Well, that was with just the kidnapping. Right. Um, that got escalated. Yeah. So they, the public defender's office sent her over. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's what that was. 
And, and a lot of times there'll be a public defender show up mm -hmm. to talk to people. Um, as far as him, I don't know who he is. I've never heard of him before. He's part of another group in Columbia that deals with, once again, indigent, but it is they may be able to waive certain things. Whenever you want to waive something, there's a reason. You're not doing it because you like it. You're waiving it for a reason. Um, I don't understand the purpose when, they, they, like he said with the plenary thing, you know, we get to go over policy. Okay. What now, say go over like policy and procedure. I can't even speak at it. Basically, the attorney can speak. I get to stand there and look stupid for a while. You talking about your preliminary hearing? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And they basically go over procedures of what, you know, the officer should have done, this should have done. At no time is it going to throw, there's not going to be some TV, maybe TV show of, all the way mess up proceed. We gotta throw all this shit out. The bodies don't count. Well, this is the thing. At the end of the day, you can do the power of attorney with or without an attorney. Yeah, I'm gonna get the document get get, get my document. You know, I you can you can you can have him be your attorney. You cannot have him be your attorney. That yeah. that is completely up to you. Well, right now I don't even know him, but when I when I wanted the document, that's all I want. Well, um, I just I just want to make sure that you understand that I made you a promise at the beginning that I was always going to be honest with you yes sir. and I was always going to be up front with you we're fine and so that's why I, I did that mm -hmm. you know and I told you about the other attorney that left his business card yes, and like you said earlier you, I have a friend who's an attorney and and they're like that yeah. sometimes you know I, I don't know you know, after, you, I think you may be right. After today, mm -hmm. it's like I, I know a gentleman that's in Arizona mm -hmm. his birth name is Jesse James. Mm -hmm. The attorney was willing to take his case. God, he was a dumbass. Just because of his name? Because of his name. So, mm -hmm. he put, so he could put on his advertisement, I got Jesse James off. Mm -hmm. And he didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he did but, it's kind of on yeah. uh, but I mean, I don't get the point. I mean, you, and okay, I get the bike shop thing. Yes, you, you, people want to have the name involved because it's a national case now. Um, now all of a sudden you have a realtor who was a couple days ago worth a shitload of money who suddenly went out and all of a sudden you're finding bodies and bodies and bodies. A room gets caught in a, in a, in a, in a connex. When you all find out the real truth about that part, that's going to be interesting. About Kayla? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think you're going to find the, the, you're going to find some different things there. It's just, it, the, well, the biggest thing right now is I want, you know, him and I are both of the same line. And as the sheriff are, mm -hmm. you know, and as the sheriff told you when he prayed with you, mm -hmm. um, we do everything above board we have a saying we do it the right way mm -hmm. and so that's why i want to make that clear i did too he said get a gun <laughs> <laughs> shit did you just <laughs> leave me right into that <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute it's it just fall. it's just fall. <laughs> oh and i do know why the fbi wants to talk to you yes sir they don't care about the gun i don't think it's my understanding they don't care about the guns really no no what do they want they want to learn from you you remember? Do you remember the other day when we were? Are you shitting me? No, sir. You remember when we were sitting there and talked about cereal, the cereal stuff? Oh shit, man, that's that shit's real. Huh? You always hear about them wanting to bring behavior. Mm-hmm. They, I, that's my understanding. They want to learn from you. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this, and and this is no joke. You're a very interesting person. Mm -hmm. You are a very intelligent person, and your philosophies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or unusual. They're not though. They're not. They are for this side of the fence. Well, they're not unusual, but they're extreme. Does that make sense to you? Yes, sir. Okay. So, and I, I, I think they're interested in that. Okay. And and they they really want. It's my understanding they don't learn from you. I don't mind talking to them. Believe it or not, after speaking to the two of you. I'm kind of hoping that they don't give me the death sentence. Just they don't give me a lot of life sentences. Who's gonna be on? 
I'll try to work them out. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> one at a time. One at a time. You can group them all together. I mean, but you know, um, like I said, my mom was like, she got upset when I when I mentioned that. She got very upset actually. Mentioned what? The the gurney. Actually, mark up well, later too. Yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, well, no, don't do that because I don't like. You know, I told you about my friend. And yeah. And the only reason why I don't is it it, it would it would it would totally mess with so many people that my biggest thing at this point is not hurting anybody else. Okay. It's closing what I can and helping who I can. And if I can help the FBI and do their thing, I don't mind. Okay. Um, hell, it might be kind of fun. Um, you may get a trip to Quantico. Oh, don't tease me. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the Godfather that they took? They, you know, I didn't know that. I actually didn't have, I don't really watch those kind of movies. Yeah, they took, uh, um... I don't watch TV at all. Um, I can't remember. It's I, like Walking Dead. I'm a guy, really. But I called that right. Glenn and Abe, I had it to the left. I had, I, I had, what's, what, no, what's the rest of the guy's name? Abe? Abraham, Abraham. Abraham. yeah. Abraham. Abraham. Abe had to. I had Abe, but I didn't have Glenn. But do you know why? When he hit Glenn, I almost bad. I was like, oh my gosh. But do you know why, Abe? Hmm. Excuse the language, but he eye fucked him. Yeah, when he bowed up, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And looked at him like, yeah. He had to keep control. Yeah. He had to. Yeah. There was no way that man showed the him. dominance. There was no way he was coming out of that. I tell you, I've lost a lot of respect for that show because my wife, our preacher at church said, I don't like Rick. My my preacher at church said you should take things that your spouse is interested in, even if you're not. You should try them and enjoy them with them to to kind of. Be a part of the things that they like. So I, I never watched the show. I want to make a show. joke there's so bad going. We're my friends. What's the best to be? But the funny thing about so I started watching this show, mm -hmm. and I didn't think I would ever like this show. Mm -hmm. And I actually like this show. Yeah. And the one person that I think is an absolute pussy yeah. is Rick. I don't like Rick. I'm like, are you kidding? One minute he's killing people, mm -hmm. and then the next minute when he's losing, let's talk. Let's talk. Wait a minute. You're killing people, and then you want to talk. I had my friends tell me that I didn't like him because he was a cop. I'm like, you don't really know me that well. You don't. Yeah. But that's because you did time. I never blamed the cop for me being in there. I blamed me for being in there. Right, right. I blamed my dad for assisting it, but I blamed me. Yeah. Um... I didn't blame cops for that. Yeah. Wrong, wrong chapter on that one. Yeah. But the man cannot make good decisions. Right. He engages when he shouldn't. Right. He doesn't engage when he should. Right. He's a piss poor leader. Mm -hmm. I mean. Who's your favorite? I probably kind of like Dave. Believe it or not. Mm -hmm. I really kind of like Dave. Redhead guy got got his head. Yeah. He just wanted. I like Daryl. Daryl, Daryl's cool. He just needs to shave and clean up. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that, you know, he just, he, you know, he... he he's always going to be a follower. Yeah. He's always going to be a follower. Yeah. But he's somebody that's trustworthy. Yeah. He's going to do his job. Yeah. Um, now I'm never going to find out how that turns out. Because <laughs> 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 I think I'm going to wait until we get all the way in the end. Mm -hmm. And then Rick's going to wake up from a dream and it's all just been a pretty I said that. I told my wife that the other day. I said, you know what's funny? I said, she didn't know who I was talking about. I said, but do you remember the old Bob the New Hope show? Yeah. I hate to admit that I actually know who okay. he is. The Bob New Hope show. The first one he did. Newhart. Bob Newhart. The Bob Newhart show. The first one he did with the, where he was married to the dark lady. Uh -huh. Then... He, that show ended, and then he had the show with the lady in the inn, the hotel. Uh -huh. And at the end of that show, yeah. he was waking up in the middle of the night back in the first show. He woke up having a dream, and his wife goes, from the first show, he's back in the whole set of the mm -hmm. first show, and his wife goes, honey, what happened? Oh, it was just a dream. And that's how he ended, they ended the second Bob Newhart show. Well, it's like the guy from Breaking Bad. Crump, Brian, whatever his name is? The, the Cranston. Brian Cranston. He's in Breaking Bad, mm -hmm. but he was also in that one show where he was the dad of that, that school kid, Malcolm in, Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah. What if that was Witness Protection Program? <laughs> it's <a> conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
But I'm not, not down on you, dude. I want to go. But, um, no, but they, I, that's my understanding. They want to talk to you more possibly to interview you to learn from you. Okay. And if you're willing to do that, we'll let them know. Sure. Okay. All right. Now, again, with the attorney, whatever you decide to do is your right, your choice. I stand by whatever you decide to do. I just want a paper is all I want right now over there. Um, what I will do. I'm not signing the handling with you tonight. I'm sorry? I'm not signing anything with him tonight. I just want a paper. Okay. With that being said, um, I will check in the morning. So you're not going to sign anything with him and hire him as an attorney tonight? That's correct, sir. So you still want me to yes, come sir. get you tomorrow and do all this? Yes, sir. Okay. I will still have to check in the morning to make sure that he is not an attorney on record for you. I understand. Um, and then if he if he is not an attorney on record for you, then we will come get you and we will do everything that we talked about. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, I just need this page because I really want to take some pressure drawings back to you. No, no. That's good. Actually, teaching those people how? You may be able to teach the FBI some things about that. <laughs> There's nothing odd that he doesn't already know. Yeah, but he doesn't teach the FBI anything. Well, you want your computer? I'll come back. I imagine that the FBI knows more about firearms than I do. I don't know. You don't know. You know more about it. Take me the range. We can fire off. Go. <laughs> it's all about the thumbs in your line. you got to get them thumbs right. All right, you know what, you know what we got to do? Out of curiosity, mm -hmm. you want to turn it the other way? I'm just trying to help you out so you can do it. Hey, I understand. Put your, put your wrist in this. Okay, bad. I'm getting some more from here. While you're doing that, I'm going to use the restroom real quick, okay? Okay. Mark, you want me to go to our office? No, I was going to maybe let you put your stuff up. Why was I thinking you were from Anderson? I'll put that. I'll put that in my way. I'll put them here. Yeah, because the Anderson people don't want to talk to me. They're done. Right. Oh, do what? Have you got everything out that you need? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to shut it because I'll come back later. Okay. Yeah, they're done with it. See, they're kind of cool talking to the FBI. Okay. I'm going to start this recorder. Yes, sir. Investigator Gaddy with Todd Kohep. We are in the office getting ready to go back to the detention center. It is 11 6 2016 and it is 1707. Cool. You good, bud? Yes, sir. All right. You'll just step out and wait back here. We'll wait on. What's your name? Hey, um, I, I know you're going to come back and you ain't going to have time to hook it up. Don't, don't leave it in there. Like my mom trying to keep me on track. <laughs> <laughs>
some of my handwriting may be hard to read, so if you have a problem, let me know. Trust me, if it was my handwriting, it would be you. I understand. I can't, I can't criticize when I can't do any better. I'll get that. Thanks, I'll just write the time down there. Yeah, I'll Initials and the date, and then I'm going to do the same. Five or six. Five. And if that's accurate, sign right there for me. And you'll get a copy. Just like you got a copy of your Miranda forms, I'll give you a copy of this as well. I'll get a copy of that. I'll sit around and read it. 20 hundred is when it was done. Okay. I just can't wait till I can get out of that room and then give me a book. Give me a Bible, but it's... Fifth day of November, correct, sir? Mm -hmm. Since I wrote it, you'll have to wait a second. He's going to win Trump or uh, Hillary. I'm scared to know. I think it's just a good way. There's a pen for you. I'm going to this count time until we get on my knees. If you get hungry through that process too, we'll get you something else to eat too, okay? Or if you want something cold to drink. You're like me, you talk really fast, so. You ask me when I'm making a deal. Sir. You ask me when I'm making a deal. I was in sales once or another.
Were any of them carrying a gun? I don't know. I don't know. That. I, don't know. I read the report there was money. They kept, the, the guy had like 10 grand in cash and a gun in the, in the office, but I would have taken it. So I was wondering if they. Okay, I want to leave that part open for real quick because um, I need to ask you a couple of clarifying questions. Um, you said you, you, you mentioned in here exactly where you shot her, mm -hmm. and then you said you shot and where you shot the mechanic when you shot him. The other two gentlemen, as they were running, you mentioned you shot one of them in the back. Do you know, as the other one was running, where you shot him, where he was hit? No, sir. Okay. Um, moving targets, mm -hmm. multiple moving targets. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I missed. If I did, it wasn't more than once. Okay. Um, but, I mean, it, it's not an easy shot when you got two moving targets running as fast as they can. The guy that was outside the outside park. Mm -hmm. Was he up against anything? Was he touched, laying on it? Was it where? I think, could, I think the curb. The curb. Was there anything else nearby? I don't remember anything. Okay. I scanned the parking lot, but that's it was nothing moves. I went back to. Did you through your story? You didn't say it, so I, but I just want to clarify. Did you hit anybody or pistol whip anybody? No, sir. Anyhow? Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. I may shoot somebody as one thing, right? But I'm not a pistol whipping and, and beating somebody is not my thing. Did you, when you were first there, did you see a customer leaving in a green Ford Ranger pickup truck? I don't remember. You don't remember? Okay. I knew a guy came in with a kid looking for a go kart and left. Okay. Because I intentionally waited till they were gone. To add a guy came in looking for a go kart with his kid, and I waited for. 
them to leave. Yes, sir. Okay. First that, thing I want to do is shoot a kid. And that's the best of your, everything in there is the best of your knowledge. Best of my knowledge. Okay. I didn't see anybody else in the parking lot. If they were, they were leaving. And if they heard anything, they would leave it really damn fast. Because nothing was suppressed. Who got pistol whipped? I don't don't know. Nobody may have, but there was a there was an injury that may it was there was an unexplained injury, so that's what I was asking. No, so I didn't hit anybody with anything. Live here, Tom Clark, at my request, as I dictated. Okay, and what I need to do, since you've already signed it once, but I added that bottom part, I just need you to sign it again for me. Just below it? Yeah, just below it. And if you'll put this time, well, that's fine. You can just, I'll have him witness it. That's fine. Is there anything else you can think of? Step out. I gotta do some few, a few things, um, and then I'll come back in and talk to you in a few minutes. Do you need anything else to drink? If you get something, I'll take it. Would you like water or soda or whatever's gonna be? Okay, I'll see what we can. I'll see what we can wrangle up for you. We can put in there. You missed dinner over there. That barbecue wasn't enough. Well, what do you want? Whatever you have for me. No, I'm asking you. What do you want? <laughs> uh, I'll 
be an asshole. Um, shut that door, Mark. <laughs> You're not being an asshole. I'm, I'm, telling, I'm asking you, what, what do you want for dinner? Uh, I don't know. We've, uh, we've got what do you got? Bojangles around here. We've got Miami Grill around here. We've got, we've, we've got the... Whatever you want, man. Boiling Springs cookout, whatever. What's your, what do you like to eat? Cookout will work. I just, that'll work. What do you like from cookout? Never been there. You been there? No, sir. They have a really good, it's called a giant cheeseburger, um, giant fries, and a giant tea. They're really good. Works for me. That's what I usually get. Okay. Right, I'll be right back. I, I just don't want to be that, the guy who no. goes, I want the snap no. lobster and he's no. an asshole. Well, I mean, you no, know, whatever you want to eat, I'm, I'm feeding you. Thank you. But I, so, I mean,
you. I didn't know. Okay, yes. Yeah. Got you a. They make them huge. They call them huge at at um. Okay. Cool. It's a huge tea. It's a huge bird. I didn't know, so I just went with the normal lettuce, tomato, pickle, mustard, mayonnaise, and then I got you huge fries. Cool. Thank okay. you. Um, need to ask you a quick clarifying question. Okay. And I'm done with that damn statement, man. So, <laughs> This is yours, you keep it, but I'm done with it. If one of my hands is, I don't care. Yeah, you're good. No, this is yours. I'm talking about me writing statements. This is just me and you talking. Although we got some other to talk about. That's what I'm going to ask you. First of all, after you left Superbike, <laughs> what, was your, what was your route home? Did you go back down Paris Bridge Road? How did you get home? Same way. I'm, I'm a creature of hand. So you left CBS, come up Shelley, and then went up Paris Bridge? The road right next there, there, or do you remember? Okay. Because that part of Bowling Springs to this day gets me confused with, I believe, the EDS left the park on CBS, went right, which would be Shelly Bridge. Was that right here? Yes. Would have been Bridge. Yes. Uh, that should be old furnace. You go left, cross over the four way, and keep booking and booking and booking and booking. Say that again, though. If you leave CVS, okay, here we go. Yes, the map is excellent. Okay, the Highway 9 is here, mm -hmm. CVS is here. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a road next to CVS yes. right here, yes, sir. and then you go on up on Highway 9, mm -hmm. and then this is Parish Bridge Road, and it eventually comes down here to Highway 9. Okay. Okay? So right here at CVS, did, you were here at CVS, did you go up Highway 9, or did you go this road to Parish Bridge? Because you're talking about Old Furnace. Old Furnace is up near the high school and all that. I didn't go by the high school. Okay, this road right here would have taken you by um, Balloon Farms, that little farm thing on the left. Yeah. Like a peach shed and stuff like that? It's been a long time. All right. Well, after you left the CVS, do you remember going up Highway 9 or do you remember? You don't remember? Knowing me, mm -hmm. I would have taken this on that road. Okay. And you came back the same way? Yes. Okay. Because you mentioned the four way. Well, uh, well on up, there's a four way on Paris Bridge Road. There is. There's a stoplight. Gas station's on the right hand side. If you make the left, it takes you down. Past nothing. That's old furniture road. Goes on. That's old furniture road because that takes you to the high school. Yeah, I think. That's not the way you came. So you came up this little road right here and went up Parrisburg Road. No, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, that's fine. Uh, no, no, no. It was how many years ago? Fourteen. Yeah, so maybe you're not sure. I don't mind any details on that. Okay. Um, yeah, can you hand me that for a second? <laughs> I'm going to throw it outside. One more day. No, it's... Well, it's no, when you talk about the weapons. Hold on a second. You want me to talk about the weapons. Hang on, son. Okay. Hey, I'm kind of glad I'm not gone. I wish that one was gone. Um, I'm going to take these off. I don't have to write. Um... You had mentioned to your mom, mm -hmm. and that we, when we had talked at the jail, that there were others, and you told your mom she didn't have enough hands. I had some altercations in Arizona. Okay. Um, I don't remember all the details. I had a friend of mine that got shot come out, coming out of a alleyway. Okay. I found the guy later on. Who was your friend that got shot? Uh, Michael something. I was a kid, I don't remember. Michael something. Do you remember the guy that you shot? I never knew his name. You never knew his name? He, he drove a Nova, Great Nova. What year was that, you think? Well, how old were you? 14. You were 14? What's the time? Okay. Um, and my, my understanding is there was some kid who wanted to be in a gang and was doing his initiation. And his initiation was to shoot your friend? We were just two kids coming out of an alley. We were part of nothing. We were part of nothing. That was his initiation? Yes, sir. Wow. Um, 
have you killed anybody else in Spartanburg? No, sir. Have you killed anybody else in South Carolina? No, sir. Other than the, the boy in Arizona and Superbikes mm -hmm. and the ones that we have on the property, have you killed anybody else? And this is where I ask you this. Is that enough? I do, but no, 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 this is the thing. No, this is the thing. This is not to drive a nail home or anything like that, okay? You had your moment in here with your mom, and this is your opportunity to get everything. It, it's not, you, you know what I'm saying? It's an opportunity to get everything out of the way, you know? Because you're going to be sitting in a cell, and, and there's going to be lonely times, and and... You're a compassionate person. I'm a compassionate person. Okay. In the heat of the moment, when somebody pisses you off, you may want to beat the shit out of them, shoot them, stab them, kill them, whatever. Mm -hmm. But when you're laying there at night, it's gonna, it may bother you. You, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's the only reason I'm asking. That's all. That's the only one you shot. Okay. Um. I didn't want to have to explain numbers on the phone. I sure didn't want to get. Numbers of four. It's it's already hard enough. I know you guys are listening. Actually, we have. I'm surprised. I actually thought you got a I got one. I got a phone call yesterday. Finally, got a phone call. But you you said that you knew that you you said there were, that I had. Talked phone, about your mom it. reached out. To your me. mom oh. reached out. Okay. She told she actually you told her to reach out to me. I did. Okay. Well, she inadvertently reached out somehow through to the solicitor's office who reached out to me. Okay. So that's how I met with one of their investigators mm -hmm. and he told me that your mom had reached out to him and he told me what she had said. Mm -hmm. And then we went from there talking. Mm -hmm. So that's how all that transpired. Okay. Okay. Um, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're it is recorded probably. I don't have. I I, I don't. You know. I, gave you I don't. I don't. I don't. I gave you everything. Okay. So. Okay. So there's no one because, and I was told to ask you. There's two missing people out of. Gastonia. I can't remember that. And it, it's irrelevant. You're saying you've not killed or harmed anybody else. That's right. The other person that you were talking about. I'm not sure I even killed him. Okay. And it was a long, long So time. when you told mom she didn't have enough fingers. I just didn't know what to tell her on the phone. Okay, so that was kind of not an, I don't want to say embellishment, but it was just something to. Didn't want to give her phone numbers. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. More, more than one hand, but um, it's not really a bragging kind of. I understand. Some of these knuckleheads may call that, ooh, that's cool. I, I don't really call that cool. Hey, Todd, a while ago you made a statement that said. The one you, you just said, those are the only people I've shot. Mm -hmm. Any other means? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just know that you're very deliberate with what you say. Did you stab anybody or anything like that? Well, not, yeah, but not like you're thinking. I was a kid. I was killing school bus, school scissors. Okay. Uh, no, no, stab anybody and kill anybody by stabbing them or anything no, like that. Okay. okay. And you can call me, Tommy. You don't have to call me, sir. It's just a respect thing. How old are you? 45. We're the same age. He's sir. <laughs> okay. Well, it, it's hard for me not to, to say sir. I mean, I understand, man. It's, it's, you know, my kids do that to me. Mm -hmm. I never told them to. My dad was a military man, and his dad was a military man. And he would not make me call him sir because he always had to call people sir. Mm -hmm. And I don't make my children call me sir, but they did. Just just remember too at the beginning we told you that there's probably not a lot we're going to be able to do for you. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Giving you a, a clear conscience is one of the only things we can. Honestly, I'm not worried about my conscience. You gave me what I wanted. What I wanted was to be have the opportunity to take care of my mom, whether my girlfriend accepts it or not. To at least attempt to take care of her and her kids. Do you, you still want me to reach out? And talk? I have not yet, but do you still want me to reach out and talk to her to see if she wants to come see you or talk to you? If she would, please. Okay, I will. The biggest thing is, please let her know that whether 
I screwed up. Mm -hmm. I can't fix it. Mm -hmm. I hope that she doesn't basically let her pride get in the way. Mm -hmm. I've got mom clearing house. I'm trying to sell this stuff off. Okay. No one's going to get rich here. But the idea is I'd like to be able to get enough money where she is not damaged, where she can basically restart her life okay. without okay. this over her head okay. and put the kid through some school so okay. she grows up to be something positive. Okay. Um, past that, that's all I really wanted. Okay. I, I mean, mom's going to put some money on my books once the, once the money is released. Okay. And you wouldn't even transfer that through the bank on the computer or through the bank, right? Or by the checkbook? The easiest way mm -hmm. would be one of two things. Mm -hmm. uh, one, release the cash in the safe mm -hmm. as option A, mm -hmm. or release the two checkbooks. I don't need the escrow checkbook, okay. but I do need the um, personal checkbook and the company checkbook. What are they? What bank account? What are they? Both of those are Wells Fargo. And they're going to say... Although on the... All what the, are they saying well, on the, on the checks, or Todd Cole, no, okay. Todd Cole and Associates. Okay. Uh, the one I don't need, there's a thousand dollars in that account that's mine. I did transfer over. So if you want to bring me the escrow, there's three checks. I don't know what. I don't know what. You know, I don't know what we're gonna be able to do. There's, I just got to. There is you know. three checkbooks all together. Okay. One of them actually says well, Wachovia is bluish. Wachovia personal. Okay. Wachovia turning to Wells Fargo. Yeah. So I left that. Blue because I could tell mine versus the company's. Okay. Um, since I'm a sole proprietor, basically the company is me. Okay. So I pay off of both things. Mm -hmm. um, if I can just get the checkbooks and write her a check out of each one of them, mm -hmm. I don't know the total total of okay. each account. Okay. But if I can kick her something, okay. then we can deal with the rest of the money later. So that's, I mean, we'll, I, like I said, I just told you in the beginning, I'll do everything I can. Because mom doesn't have any money. I'll do everything I can. Um, I didn't know she was that bad mom. You know. I haven't seen her in years. I haven't seen her in years. What happened to her hip? Oh, man, everything. Really? She's more accident prone than I am. Really? If, if there's a bump, there's a, if there's a curve, if there's something out there, that woman will hit it. She won't mean to. Well, let me go out here and take care of a few things. She's not well, because she was a big girl when I met her. The one the last time I saw her? She was, well, she yeah. was. Let me ask you this too, Todd. In reference to the other two people that we talked about down there, Megan and mm -hmm. uh, Johnny. Johnny, is there anything that you left out while we were at the jail talking, while we were at the detention center talking about them that we need to know? I mean, obviously you told me and make sure that I'm getting this right. You pick them up at Blackstock, and you know what? You pick them up at Blackstock and Rebel Road, Rebel I think Road. you said, and then that's well. Okay, no, well, sir. Start. I met her there. Okay. Got her number. We talked on the phone for a brief moment. Okay. Then I met them later on at that. Um, Next to Ricky's Hot Dogs, big huge parking lot. They walked across okay. and spoke to me there. Okay. Um, I almost thought she was going to hit on me to actually. Come on, I showed the knife. I was in our car. Um, but that's not what I was there for. I got you. I'm going to tell you, our meeting looked shady as shit. <laughs> I understand. I mean, I got you. Told you show up with, with that. In that parking lot? Yeah, and her kind of the way she was. I understand what you're talking about. Um, Basically, I offered her the job, offered to let him go in and do it, come work as well. Uh, the next day, she was, well, next day, this was over several days. The next day, she was in the paper, mugshots. I guess you guys had arrested her for um, meth or some shit. Uh, hair, I don't know. Something was in her bloodstream, and you took her kids away. Okay. Um, I asked her about it, and she informed me that, yeah, she had drug issues, and with that. Okay. Um, I still was going to give him a chance. You know, I get shit happens to people. It's hard. I get it. Um, Green meet him. 
back there. Actually, I meet them there, but they told me the address, which is across the street where they were. Do you remember that address? That's you, the, this yes, when you were talking about behind the apartment complex. Yes. Okay. I can't say the address, but another day if you want to, mm -hmm. the house is unique enough I can point it out. Okay. Because um, it sits on a corner at a, at a funky angle. I, I, okay. You know what house I'm talking about. Yeah. What happened there? What do you mean? Well, for you to know that house. I used to patrol out there years ago. I don't know about what particularly happened out there. I just know the house you're talking about. Well, you said I was no, no, when I used to patrol, mm -hmm. I patrolled that area. Mm -hmm. So when you, yeah, when I, when you, mm -hmm. okay. so I mean, that's, that's, I patrolled that area. I didn't know something else happened there. No, not, no. I wasn't a part of it. The house is, is out on, a, on a corner that's kind of crooked, crooked, crooked way it's located. Mm -hmm. And I picked them up and I drove them to my land of kids' supplies. Mm -hmm and got him down to my building and that's when Johnny pulled a knife out mm -hmm. and you shot him. I shot him. What did you do with his knife? Oh no, I don't keep that kind of crap. You just threw it out? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I, what did she do when you shot Johnny? What did she do when Johnny pulled the knife out? What did nothing, she say? Nothing. So you think she was planning on the planning of this? I think she entirely was in the plan of it. Okay. There was, there was no Oh shit! Yeah, uh, Johnny, what are you doing? There was mm -hmm. none of that. This was her actions were. She knew he was doing that. Mm -hmm. They saw a guy who had a shitload of money, driving mm -hmm. a car they can't afford. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a car, and they were going to get something. Okay. Um, so then you shot him how many times? Shot him twice. Okay. In the chest. Okay. He dropped forward. Mm -hmm. He dropped forward. I went around him and put another one through a spinal column. Okay, and you shot her? Not exactly. Okay. Um, the Connex was not meant to be a cage. Okay. All that chain shit was after the fact. Okay. Connex was designed for my food and my weapons and to secure my four-wheeler before I had the building built. Okay. The back area that's all wood, mm -hmm. that wasn't designed for them. Mm -hmm. That was designed for my stuff. Okay. Until last week, there was no ceiling on that. Okay. I put that in because she was cold. Kayla was cold. Okay, I'm glad we were still talking about you. John. I got you. So you isolated the back to help keep her warm. I didn't know what to do with it, man. Um, one side, I really want to drop her. The next side, I really, it's not, I kind of want to save her ass. I, I don't. Uh, Let me back up real quick before we go that far. Because we were talking about Johnny. Okay. The girl that was with Johnny, did you shoot her? Not at that time. Okay, what happened with her? She panicked, but then she said, I told, told her to sit down. She sat down. Mm -hmm. uh, went ahead and cuffed her. Mm -hmm. Patted her down. Mm -hmm. Told her I wasn't going to hurt her. Mm -hmm. Uh, she calmed down, mm -hmm. and I actually took her to the Connex. No, that's not true. I had her lay there for a while. I didn't know what the hell to do with her. Um, I didn't want her in my Connex because I had stuff in there. I didn't know what the hell to do with it. Mm -hmm. Putting her in with my guns is not a good thing. I understand that. Uh, I actually had to go. For the first time I ever was having a little bit of a panic of what the hell do I do with her. Mm -hmm. uh, put her here, put her there, drop her, what the hell to do, do I call the cops, oh shit, I got legal guns, uh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, uh, what do I do with her? Mm -hmm. Um, she was bad shit crazy, man. No, that's what you said earlier. Uh, I told her I wasn't going to touch her, wasn't going to rape her, wasn't going to to her, uh, just calm the hell down and let me sort this shit out. Mm -hmm. Somewhere... Between, I did that, I, well, I shot him, set the, the back tight in the back, got her to calm down, and kept coming back and forth trying to figure out what to do, but I had her cuffed, mm -hmm. and she wouldn't go anywhere. Eventually, I went and locked her. I want to say I left her on that floor for a while. I left her on that floor cuffed. I wouldn't mm -hmm. let because I didn't know what to do with her. I didn't want her in the building. Okay. Got the tractor, got it out of there, picked the body up, and was trying to figure out what the hell to do with it. 
This is Johnny's body. Yeah. Okay. Um, like I said, I was having a little meltdown. Oh, okay. Um, the lamb was supposed to be my sanctuary. Yeah, not my killing field. Right. <laughs> you know, I understand. Not meant to be my killing field. Um, it was supposed to be the place where I go to relax and get away from people and not deal with this shit. Mm -hmm. um, this is killing me bother because it was such needless bullshit. Uh, hell, I was given the money. Why were you mm -hmm. robbing me? Mm -hmm. um, I went down to the Conex, cleaned out the back area, because mm -hmm. I had shit all in there. Mm -hmm. um, and at one time, those ammo racks weren't there. The ammo rack was here and here. Mm -hmm. Pistol rifle. Okay. Um, so there was only that much space at the back. So I moved all the guns forward. And at that time, those were on casters. Okay. And those are not on casters now. Okay. Put it back there to calm the hell down. Let me rethink this crap. Um, let me see what the hell I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. Um, when got Johnny went over there and dug a hole, and like I said, you take the, take the, the tractor and you keep going in and dig, and what you end up doing is making a slanted mm -hmm. right. to like putting here. Right. Um, dug that, stuck him in it, covered it up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot more work than you think. Uh, did that, went back and dealt with her, tried to figure out what to do with her. Really wasn't sure. Uh, ended up basically leaving her tied up there. And went and got some chain. I had chain around. There's lots of chain in that building. Mm -hmm. um, I use chain for all kinds of shit. There's chain in the, in, in the woods where I've got trees that come along that are sort of lean towards my fence. Mm -hmm. And I'll put a chain around it, hook a come along to it, and start working this way. And over a period of time, it'll fall away right. from the fence. Okay. Uh, so chain and cable and that kind of stuff, I got a lot of it. Mm -hmm. um, tied her up, left her there while I tried to figure out what to I, I didn't know what to do with it, man. Right. Um, got rid of Johnny. Came back, left her there, went and got food, fed the girl. Uh, fed her after she tried to rob you? Man, what are you going to do with her? I don't want to shoot her. I understand. I mean, I can't have some crazy bad shit. A woman going back. I mean, she was going bipolar left and right. She wouldn't calm down. Like, oh, she probably calmed down. But she... What, what she was talking to me, and first she had drug issues, right? and then she kept going off the deep end with weird shit, and kept talking, and then she kept telling me that she had manic, manic mode or some sort of bipolar lithium crap, I don't know what the hell it was, where, she, I mean, she was up, down, up, down, up, down. So she didn't mellow out like Kayla did? No, not at all. She did finally calm down. <coughs> But she wasn't upset. What made you decide to shoot her? I'll get to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't going to shoot her. Okay. I was going to give her money. Okay. Uh, I don't know why the hell she went the hell off. I held her. I hate the kidnapping part. But I'll get another one. I held her there for a couple days. How many days? Five or six. Okay. Um... I, every, every other damn day, she wanted Little Caesar's Pizza. I hate that shit. It always gives me heartburn. Uh, Little Caesar's Pizza, Mountain Dew, not Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, cinnamon rolls, and freaking Newports. If you go down to my building, you'll find an unused package of Newports that I bought for her. And then she went bad shit. She took, she tried to light my damn building on fire. Do you know how? In the back of what building? The Connex. Okay. The Newport pack is still there? The Newport pack is still inside the toolbox. Okay. This is the unused pack. I bought her a, I actually bought her a card. Okay. I don't, I don't buy, I don't smoke. Right. I don't have a buyer. I went to the store. I said, okay, I need a, a thing of uh, Newports, Reds, where the hell they were. The lady went, do you want a pack or a card? Went, oh, shit, I don't freaking know. Um, okay. Give me a freaking card. Uh, got her that. Got her a lighter. Um, wasn't sure what the hell to give her, man. Is uh, that toolbox inside the Connex, or is it in one of the ones inside the it's building? Red toolbox inside the building. Okay. Bottom drawer, left-hand side. 
Uh, you'll find some lube and stuff in there that had nothing to do with it. I just didn't know where to help shit. Um, there's also a friend of mine gave me, his girlfriend gave, gave him a thousand little packets of KY. He said, you want to use it? I don't know. You didn't use it? I don't know. It's still in the bag. I didn't even touch it. So then what happened with her? Uh, went from there. Oh, there's a collar in there. That collar was careless. Neck collar? Yeah, she had me order it. She asked you to order it? Yes, sir. Okay. It, we'll get to that in a minute. Didn't okay. use it, because after, after it came in the mail, mm -hmm. I would say it went, oh. Okay. That shit took you from me. <laughs> it, it, it's a stainless steel collar with, like, hooks for putting, like, locks on. I mean, <laughs> did it, it's like having the, your, I don't treat my dogs that way. So what happened with Megan? Um, put in there, fed her for a couple of days, <clears throat> proceeded to go ahead, mostly just left her the hell alone. Mm -hmm. uh, left her alone. I didn't know what to do with her. And then she kept burning shit. I come in and often find that she burned her blanket and she burned this. She's sitting next to 100,000 rounds of ammo. Love of God, please stop burning shit. Mm -hmm. If that thing goes off, do you know what, do you know what that would do to a neighborhood? Or an area that's not a neighborhood. It wouldn't. It would be, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, please do not catch the building on fire. She kept trying to catch shit on fire, and then go. Well, I'm smoking. I'd open the door, and I mean a cloud would come out. It's like one of those cartoons. Looking back, giving her cigarettes is probably a big mistake. Um. I had her there. Left her alone. Uh, took her down to the other building, sat her down for a while, got her to calm down, just please calm down, got her some food, uh, told her basically that if she would just chill the hell out. Mm -hmm. You don't know me. You don't know very much about me. You don't have shit. And last time I could check from what was online, she had a warrant where they were looking for her ass. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you the warrant for $4,000. I'll drive you up to damn Tennessee. I'll drop your ass off somewhere. If you got any common sense on this planet, you'll go left and I'll go right. What'd she say? Oh, she got so excited, I got my dick sucked. Uh, she did? Yeah. Okay. And it wasn't bad. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, okay. Hey, if girls don't know Hey. Uh, I told her I would give her $4,000 and basically release her in Tennessee. Just... Go. Please, go. Don't come back. It seemed like an easy, it seemed like an easy solution. Uh, she didn't really know my name. She didn't know my address. She didn't know where I lived. When I first met her, I mean, I told her who I was, but I just told her I was a realtor. She didn't really know me. There was very little for her to, I mean, what's she going to do? She's got warrants out for her arrest. She's going to, what, call you guys up and say some asshole shot my boyfriend. But you're looking for me anyhow. Uh, I don't know where he lives. We went to some land. I don't know where the fuck I was. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. I did, and I'm I am jumping back and forth. That's fine. Back to Megan and in just a minute. Did you give Kayla any cigarettes, or did you did you give Kayla cigarettes? Cigarettes? No. She took a shitload of pills. Okay, so does she want cigarettes? She asked me for, for weed. Why would you not? Is is that... So obviously you didn't give it to her. Was the trouble that you had with Megan something that you decided I'm not going to go through this again? Oh, definitely. Top thing. So you basically went from, you know, you didn't want to give her cigarettes to let her attempt to burn shit because you learned from what Megan did. Yes, you wasn't going to fire. You wasn't going to let Kayla do that. But I don't remember Kayla asking me for cigarettes. So Kayla didn't ask you for cigarettes, okay. But Megan, so you're, you're sitting there with Megan. Yes, sir. And Megan... I don't understand the question, then, because she didn't ask me for cigarettes. Well, I, and that's fine. I didn't know if she did or not. I just know, I just know that I wasn't going to give her anything like that. There you go. Um, okay. All that stuff was, was burned, and I was like, I'm not going down this road again. So with Megan, you 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 made her the offer of the four thousand dollars. Keep your mouth shut. I'll take you to Tennessee. Drop you off and leave you. Drop you off and leave you. You go one way, I go the other way. 
Totally. What made that change? What happened? What do you mean what made that change? Well, she ended up dead. Oh, you mean what, what were preceded? Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, you know, I'll use your words. Where it proceeded. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a... No, you're good, you're good, man. Yeah, so I'm trying to be an asshole. What is that? Dude, we're fine. Um, I wanted to get rid of her. The weather went to shit. Mm -hmm. uh, we were having sleet. It was right before Christmas, man. We were having sleet. We were having rain. Mm -hmm. The weather went to shit. Okay. And I still had to find a way to get away from Ashley, my girlfriend, mm -hmm. long enough to get up out of work, get this person to Tennessee, Drop her off and get home. That's not a, that's not just a couple hour trip. No. And if I'm dropping her, it ain't gonna be at work. Mm -hmm. We're going north of Nashville. I want her way the hell away from me. Uh, I don't. I want her to forget where South Carolina is. Right. I told her, I said, I give you I give you 4K in cash. Drop you off somewhere mm -hmm. on the other side of the other side of nowhere. Mm -hmm. If you got any common sense, you keep walking. Mm -hmm. Go get a job at the, go get a job at a, at, a, at a diner somewhere. Work mm -hmm. as a waitress. Get your shit, get your shit right. Don't come back. They got one for here, and I'm here. So just don't come back. Okay. Uh, she was gonna take. She was happy. She was happy as hell for like two days. Okay. She was happy as hell. I just couldn't get past the weather. Okay. Uh, the last day I went over there, uh, opened the connex up. She burned. Half the freaking building. Uh, this, I mean, she took my ammo racks and grabbed them and did this. Holy shit! Oh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not, for, for such a little shit. Mm -hmm. Damn. So then what happened? Uh, well, there was ammo everywhere and stuff everywhere, and she broke the fan. I, I, I got her a fan. She broke the fan. Mm -hmm. Prime, man, you just can't beat that shit. Two or two day shipping. Uh, Right. Yeah. Got all those. There's a fan in there now, but it came as a two pack. Mm -hmm. uh, I had those to get air ventilation. Mm -hmm. I got lanterns for so she have light. Mm -hmm. I did the best I could to make it right. somewhat livable. Mm -hmm. Got her blankets, got her pillows. She lit the damn thing on fire. I'm surprised she didn't fix the gate. That's what I was thinking. I'm surprised she didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, when I walked in the building, I mean, I was choking. Mm -hmm. I'm going, holy shit. Uh, went to get her out, and then all of a sudden, it's like I had a caged animal on my hand. I don't know what the hell, what the hell, she went from, I'm so freaking happy in the world to be, I'm going to go to Tennessee with money, and I'm going to restart my life, and thank you, thank you, thank you, mm -hmm. to batshit crazy. Uh, so I'm just a minute. I got you. At that point, I tried to walk her out of the building. I just had enough. I walked outside. I was trying to calm down. I felt what the hell to do with her, what to do with her, what to do with her. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. um, I came back in the building. Um, she was going nuts. Just, it wasn't like she was emotional about the situation. This, this had been days. It wasn't much about that. It was just like serious chemical imbalance shit. And she walked outside. I walked her, I walked her outside. I walked her outside. I put a four in the back of her head. What gun did you shoot her with? Same one. That you shot? Mm -hmm. Johnny. Johnny with? Mm -hmm. And that's a Glock. And that's the same one you shot? Charlie. Charlie. It's not even my favorite gun. It's just, it's just. It's a, it's a handy it's gun. It's a handy one. It's very effective. Especially if you shoot 180 grains. Let me ask you this. One, I, do have, I, have, I do have one clarification question with, with Charlie. Okay. Okay. Because like we talked to you before about the feet were missing. I didn't tell you my feet. I, 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 know, I, know, I know you didn't. I know you didn't. Animals, whatever. Because you said you had coyotes out there. I do. When, you know how you're saying you, you dug out and it kind of leaves a little little ramp kind of thing there? Mm -hmm. When you put him in the, the hole, grave so to speak, yeah. okay, was he face down? Was his head going downhill? Was his head coming going up? Was he on his back? Do you remember? I don't remember. Okay. I hit tilted it. So you just hit tilt. He fell out. All I do, all I did, is drive up there, hit tilt, dropped him out. The way he, the way he landed, the way he went. You, the hole is this way. Yes, sir. Did he land this way or this way? Do you remember? Well, there we got. There you go. 
if, if you if you dig here, mm -hmm. going this way, mm -hmm. and you basically as you go in, you keep going down deeper, so it ends up like this. Right. Right. As you go down, you I put. I don't know why I keep acting like I did this a long time, so I didn't. Um, put the dirt to the side. Right. Put the dirt to the side. And I put dirt behind it, mm -hmm. and then when I basically just drove down, but there had been a lot of rain days before this, okay. so there was water down there, mm -hmm. and I got him down as far as I could, and then I just basically hit the went a little far forward, took the bucket, hit the get the dirt that I could mm -hmm. behind him, pull it, put this dirt, put that dirt, and cover it as best I could. Okay. Um, I think he was kind of sideways in the. Because you know how the two holes are parallel? Yes. So he wouldn't, like, let's say this is a bed. He wouldn't be laying out, like, head to, head to footboard, at the headboard and at the footboard. He'd be kind of more catty cornered across it. This one way he'd be in there. I, I, he would never be like this way. Okay. And the, re, the reason. So you would have been digging from this angle, reaching out, coming back this way, right? 